How did Pythagoras prove the Pythagorean theorem? Well, we don't know. We don't know that Pythagoras even had a proof or that even Pythagoras actually existed. But instead, let's prove uh, the theorem using Euclid's proof. Euclid of Alexandria had a proof in the elements, in his books, The Elements. So let's look at that proof, which is hopefully close enough to whatever Pythagoras, if he had a proof, whatever Pythagoras had in mind. Euclid's proof goes as follows. Draw a blue triangle like so, and notice that if we look at it like this, then uh, that triangle has base A, the height is A, so the area of the blue triangle is A squared divided by 2, where A squared is the area of that square. And now we draw another triangle like so, uh, and notice that the area of this one is going to be the base, C, times the height. The height is up to here, divided by 2. So the area of this blue triangle is half of the size of this, or half of the area of this rectangle right here. But notice also that the two blue triangles can be shown to be congruent triangles. They are actually the same area. So this region right here actually has area a squared. So this rectangle here is a squared. So now we're going to prove that this rectangle here has area b squared. And now I've drawn two pink triangles, this one and this one. Uh, this one has side b and height b. So this one has area b squared divided by 2. This one has area that is equal to this uh, base times the height up to here. So this one has area uh, also b squared divided by 2, but it coincides with half of the area of this rectangle. And therefore, the rectangle here has area b squared. So this square, which is c squared, uh, is equal to a squared. We decided that this rectangle has area a squared. This rectangle here has area b squared, and therefore c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, uh, which is the theorem we wanted to prove.